This is Code Combat, JavaScript edition, or version. We're doing Introduction to Computer Science, level 15, Known Enemy. So, goals. Your hero must survive, defeat the three ogres, okay? To clear a variable like this. Ah, yep, when... A variable. So a variable is just like you've heard of likely in math, right? So x plus 2 equals 4. So in that problem, x would obviously be 2. So it's a stand-in for something else. That's what a variable is. In math, x is often representing a number. In coding, variables like enemy, or this could also be x, represent a variety of things. For example, variable x uh, represents the string for crat. It's like giving crat a new name. So in the code, if we wanted to attack crat now, and I just changed this to x, we can by using our variable. All right, and so it wants us to do this for our other enemies. We can leave this as enemy two if we would like. It wants us to attack them though using the new name we assign them with our variable. So let's say enemy two. Oh, it looks like they already had some down here. That's fine. And then that will successfully attack Gert because enemy two now equals Gert. However, Ur says left. And you can leave this as enemy three. I just want to kind of demonstrate what I mean. We're going to say Ursa's new name is Bobby because you really can use anything you would like for a variable. It doesn't matter. What you need to do, though, is once you have it renamed, you are going to attack using whatever variable you created. And that should be mission accomplished. Excellent. It is a bit more confusing of a concept in coding, the idea that you can create new names for things, but it's very useful as we advance through. So now we're done with 15, and I'm going to move on to level 16.